In this video, I'll discuss what is machine learning. We'll define it, and I'll share some important concepts and examples in machine learning today. Machine learning is more than just creating statistical models. It is a multidisciplinary approach to training computers to make decisions, predict, categorize, and cluster data. Although based on statistical modeling methods, it's much more than that. Informally, Alan Turing famously said, can machines do what we as thinking entities can do? Can computers or computer programs come up with algorithms from a statistical model based on input data? A formal definition comes from Tom Mitchell, which he provided in 1997, and it's the go-to formal definition cited in many machine learning overviews and books where he stated, a computer program is said to learn from experience E with respect to some class of tasks T and performance measure P if its performance at tasks T as measured by P improves with experience E. Now to contrast this, in the 1970s and 80s, we had what was called expert systems, which sought to emulate human decision-making ability. And the code for these such systems, these expert systems, was reasoned by programmers in a more conventional if-then logic. Whereas machine learning is data-driven, equating more data to more experience, resulting in more accurate models, and more accurate at carrying out tasks. Now machine learning is categorized into two main types, supervised learning and unsupervised learning. But we also have what is called reinforcement learning, which is relatively new. Now, supervised learning is where we take the history or take history to inform our thoughts about the future. A supervised learning method uh, uses historical data to make predictions about the future, for example, predictive analytics. So we have to know what is in the data, we have to have labeled data, and our data has independent variables we use as predictors and a dependent variable we're trying to predict. In unsupervised learning, we're working with unlabeled data. We're looking for a relationship between our independent variables. We're trying to cluster or group things together in a model based on common traits in our data. And now there's another part, which is not, doesn't come up quite as often, is now called reinforcement learning. Now this one comes up in machine learning that's a little bit like supervised learning, but the decision-making model is trained via a reward system for good decisions. So most machine learning is in the realm of supervised or unsupervised, and reinforcement is still a hot topic in newer methodology, especially in the realm of applications like self-driving cars. Now we have various methods. In supervised learning, we have classification, where we take on discrete values like true, false, yes, no, one, two, or three, and regression, where we have a range of values like continuous numbers, which could be, you know, height and weight, or some temperature scale, or uh, some value in dollars, where we can have a continuous range of values, and it's not a discrete true or false, or yes or no, or zero or one. In unsupervised learning, we're dealing with clustering or grouping techniques, where we partition our data set based on our independent variables. And you'll also see something come up. You'll see neural networks come up. And this is in the realm of deep learning. Now, neural networks are what we referred to uh, in the past. Now, modern techniques, we call them deep learning. Now, deep learning typically refers to very complex and multi-layered neural networks. So it's a modern approach to implementing neural networks. And then some examples of it, we have photo recognition, we're trying to recognize dog or cats in images, or facial recognition in general. We have social network analysis, where we're using connections between people to determine what they'll buy or how they'll vote. We have machine learning in medicine for disease prediction or x-ray or MRI analysis, uh, marketing and advertising, which informs us how to market or advertise our products, where to spend money on products and advertise. Uh, we have insurance implementations of machine learning where it helps uh, insurance companies determine rates. Speech recognition, which we see on our smartphones and things like the iPhone and Siri. Weather forecasting, meteorology, and climate science and climate prediction. These are just a few of the areas where machine learning is used widely today. And that concludes this introductory discussion on what is machine learning.